There are many companies coming out with their own unique aircraft design. Some of these concepts range from huge electric vehicles to supersonic jets. But building a real aircraft is a whole different challenge, which requires engineering, robust testing, and extensive financing. Nevertheless, it's still highly entertaining to see some of the most extreme designs out there, so let's begin the countdown. At number 7, the Volo Connect. Volocopter was one of the first companies to bully step out with their own electric VTOL. Now they have quite a few different designs, with the Volo Connect being one of the weirdest variants. It is a fixed winged aircraft with two propulsion fans and six electric rotors. This allows it to vertically take off with four passengers and cruise up to 150 miles per hour with a 60 mile range. The main objective is to offer affordable flight mobility solutions for city travel. Once again, these types of aircraft will likely depend on advancements in battery technology to improve flight times. At number 6, the Airbus 0E. Airbus has revealed several hybrid concepts which utilize hydrogen turbofan engines. These zero emission concept aircraft are otherwise known as 0E, which could be built around 2030. Their boldest design is the Flying Wing, which can offer more flexibility for hydrogen storage. Hydrogen can be either used as a direct fuel or as a fuel cell, but it'll be interesting to see which method Airbus will use in their future craft. It could also carry around 200 passengers with some room for innovative interior designs. But we also have to keep in mind that airport infrastructure might not be able to initially support this kind of aircraft because it is quite a bit wider than typical aircraft. At number 5, the J2000. General Patera is working on a unique, scalable setup called Fluidic Propulsion. It amplifies air compression through thrust augmentation. It's kind of like a supercharged Dyson fan, and this Fluidic Propulsion system is driven by a turbo compressor with models up to 3,000 foot-pounds at 1,200 kilowatts. This allows their J2000 model to theoretically cruise at 200 miles per hour. The craft could also carry up to 800 pounds, but they also have higher end model designs, which would have higher specifications. The company has already tested several models and has received contract awards from the US Air Force. So it's very likely that they will build these aircraft in the future. At number 4, the Flying Yacht. One of the weirdest designs out there was inspired by the iconic Spruce Goose. It has over 14,000 square feet of sail on 130 foot high mass. The sails can theoretically retreat and become wings. Four engines would then propel the craft, but it would most likely need to utilize some type of ground effect to fly. The designer admittedly did overlook some engineering details, but a more refined design could be something between an Akrano plan and a catamaran. We move on and look at a bioelectric aircraft. Now, British manufacturer Farad Air is working on a hybrid concept which utilizes a biofuel powered turbo generator. The plane would be more efficient than a straight electric, and it could achieve an 1100 mile range with 18 passengers. Other notable features include a contra rotating turbofan, solar panels for constant cabin power, and opposed gall wings for cargo loading. Now, obviously, this would need a lot of refining and engineering, but the goal is to produce a low noise, low cost carbon neutral aircraft. But once again, it will be highly dependent on financing. And number two, the Ether One. Now, batteries are tricky to use in aerospace because they are relatively heavy and they have low energy densities when compared to combustion fuels. So this particular concept utilizes air friction to generate power. Now, maximum efficiency is achieved in the stratosphere at high speed when electrical charges are formed on the aircraft. This is done with tribal electric nano generators, which harness mechanical vibrations in the airframe and it converts it to electrical energy. Now these types of generators have been experimented on a small scale, but theoretically they would work at higher efficiencies for high speed travel. The jet will still need to carry batteries for takeoffs, but it is definitely a very unique idea for eliminating weight on all electric aircraft. We get to the great number one, and it's the Talon Electric VTOL. Possibly one of the strangest designs utilizes two separate aircraft for long-range vertical takeoff and landing. 
the unmanned drone would lift the cruising vehicle to its flight level and then release it once its motors reach a flight sustaining speed. The drone would then go down to base and recharge for another lift or landing mission. This kind of setup would allow for multiple vehicles which can interchange and overall it can fly up to 5 passengers at 200 miles per hour for up to 300 miles, which is almost unheard of for electric VTOLs. Now, there would be challenges associated with mid-air separation and docking, so this cruiser would need some type of a redundant safety system in case of failure. But ultimately, it's one of the most unique designs out there. Anyways, I'd like to know what you think of all these concepts, so please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.